So, I mean, yeah, from what you've showed me so far in this game, it looks fucking awesome. I mean, look at this, dude. I mean, look at the character look at her, models. Man. Look God, at her. God damn. Make a good fucking game, Blizzard. <laughs> I know. No, but dog, that, I mean, maybe we should try, you, you think a Chaos Dungeon would be something to show? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Yeah, hell yeah, let's do that. Be cool. And, show all the loot you get and all that bullshit. And that's just you singular, so... I mean, yeah, man, it looks like it looks a lot like the rifts in Diablo. I think it's exactly like it. Like, it's just you, like, building up a bunch of shit so that you can one-hit them all. I don't know. I think it's. I think it differs, like, gameplay-wise, but mechanically, it's the exact same thing. Well, it's, it's cool how it's only five minutes long, so you can really just get this shit out of the way. What, what level do you got to be to where you can start doing these? This is 50. You got to be 50. You got to be 50 to do the riffs? Yeah. Oh, fuck shit. But do you find, like, uniques and sets and legendaries or anything like that in these? On the first two of the day, it counts as a daily, so you do find, like, stuff like that in the first two of the day, and then after that, you don't really find much of those. So there's these that you can do, and uh, there's the world boss. Yeah, just a, uh, about ten minutes ago, Dane and a group of, there's like four others? Three others, four total. There's four in total, and they did a world boss. <laughs> that was pretty epic, man. It's, it's kind of fucking cool. They, they kind of made a good game. They listened. And those nodes and shit, you find these little nodes that you can upgrade, and it works kind of like the, uh... They were kind of like those those legendary gems in Diablo 3, is that what kind of we were thinking? They kind of do, yeah. Kinda. Only they have they have more mods. Do you put them in items? You just like equip the node itself. Like you have like a like a spot where you can equip it. What the fuck? Where where is it? And she can right have there. two in total, is that right? I think. I don't know what that's locked for. Hell no. Yeah, this game looks pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm thinking about... I might try my character again now that, now that you showed me how to use the waypoints. I don't know the waypoints. I never really used them except for like teleporting in town to like complete a quest and shit. It's oh. like here's that motherfucker. Look at this fucking guy. This is uh this is kinda like the rip boss. No, you're in not a, there in, yet. A, in a way, yeah. Oh shit. What happens if you don't finish without the with the timer running out? I don't know. I've never finished it without the timer running out. Oh really? You've always you've always beat the timer? I'm usually like a couple minutes ahead of the timer, usually. Oh, interesting. At least one minute. But anyway, yeah, after this we could show, if you want, you could try a world boss just real quick. If those are easy to get. But, uh... Yeah, and I kinda, it, it kind of reminded me of what they showed for Diablo 4 with the world boss, where you have incentive to get a group, because... You said that regardless of how many characters are on your team, the world boss you select will have the same health and damage output? From my understanding, yes. I don't I don't know a whole lot about this game, but from what I know, I don't think it gets any harder. Because that, it really incentivizes you to have a group to beat it. But you could still play more chill and just fight it on its own, right? Like, but you'll have to most likely do a lower level uh, boss. And it'd take you a long fucking time, because you, yeah. you have to run back to refill your potions. Hell yeah. <laughs> and if you're soloing him, then nobody else is tanking, so you're going to use a shit ton of potions. I don't know, man. This game looks pretty fucking toad. How many do you think you've put in a lot of hours? I can fucking check after this. I think I put in maybe 30, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, my only thing is, when I first started playing it, there was just so much shit you had to read. So much stuff fucking thrown at you right at the jump. 
but all these you... different little currencies and all these little fucking just a whole bunch of shit thrown at you at the fucking beginning. It doesn't, nothing makes sense. You don't know which one you're supposed to pick because there's you, you don't know shit about the game. Yeah, that kind of threw me off a little bit. But it seems that you decided to persevere through all that. I followed a guide. Because now you have kind of an understanding. Oh, really? Like a video guide. A lot or of the just just googled what class I was playing and a guide, and it's just I just followed that. Oh, okay. I, apparently, Max World did a bunch of shit with it too. I mean, it's, it, it kind of reminds me of the cow level where you just, you hoard them all together and you just make them all explode and shit. So, like, for a reward, I got this card. I don't even know what the, I don't even know what the cards do. Oh, really? I have no idea. So you haven't, you haven't utilized the cards yet. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, shit. You get the red and the blue or... to upgrade your shit. And you get those the first two clears of the day. But after those, you get these little green little shards. And you can go to the, the merchant. And you can exchange the green for the blue and the red. Oh, okay. What the fuck? So you can do two a day, but it's quicker to like do other shit. But I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing all that. Perception shard. All that other bullshit. Oh, that's interesting. So I just got like 200 of them doing one chaos dungeon. So it's 15 of these for like 10 blue ones. So. And that. you've, uh, you, you've leveled up your skills, right? Is that what you, that's what you do? You level up your skills? Yeah. How do you, yeah. So I got a couple skills that are like level 10 and a couple of them that are level 4. And hmm. I don't know, man. It's pretty fucking cool. But yeah, I'm gonna really? get my shit rocked. All right. So you just uh, you accidentally entered this all on your own, huh? Yeah, I this fucked is, up. This is a world boss. Yeah. And what level guys, is it? It it's level 420. What's the highest one you've killed in solo? I I haven't soloed any of them because oh. I tried soloing one and I got my shit fucking kicked in. What level was that? It was, I was like 380 and it was like 350 or something. Oh shit. What I'm, level I'm about are to get you right now? 456. So you're a little higher than a, the boss. Yeah, this guy's a level 420 boss. Okay. So I'm about to get my shit kicked in. Do you think there's a chance in hell you can beat it? I mean, the enemies look cool, man. There's polar bears maybe and that shit. I, maybe now that I brought potions, I might be able to fucking beat him, but. I like how there's snow and shit. I mean, the atmosphere looks nice. You know? How many world bosses are there that you can fight right now? This is one of how there's many? A, there's a lot. You can fight like fucking 20. Do they have certain items that you're trying to get from them? Like, does this one have any specific items that you're trying to get? They All they drop is the shit you use to upgrade your fucking your gear, the current gear you have. Oh, really? Is my understanding of it. Like, look at this fucking guy. Cold? Holy oh, shit. Fucking shit. And it's interesting how it, like, ran away from you guys when you fought the other one in, in your group. It ran away. Yeah, he fucking teleported away. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird mechanics, dog. You know, job bird, last wish, game changing mechanic. <laughs> Like I'm stuck inside him right now. I can't. The, I can't move. Oh hell no! Oh, it's like my character's fucking stuck on the ground, dude. So there, it, it, it like it grabs your character and shit, huh? It's oh, not just oh, like yeah. straight up doing damage. Like he just, he just whacked me with his fucking. What the yeah. fuck? Like I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Where's his health bar? He doesn't have one. What? He doesn't fucking you tell fucking you. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. How it do doesn't you... fucking. I'm gonna just let him kill me so I can fucking leave. Well, this shit, look at that shit. It, what do you mean it doesn't have a health bar? It doesn't tell you the fucking health bar. What? You just don't know when it's gonna die? That just doesn't tell you. Oh, that's okay, crazy. Yes, abort the raid. Give me the fuck. Like, I fought him for a good fucking minute there and I did 2.8% of his health. 2.8? You just found that out now or what? 
Yeah, like at the end, if you don't, if you don't beat it, it tells you how close you were. To oh beat man, it. so you don't even know. No, you have no idea. Well, do you know when you get close? Does it like lose limbs and shit or something? Nope. Uh, oh, that's that's kind of an interesting dynamic. Let's try them again with a fucking the party. I don't know. Let's try me with a party. I don't know if I've ever played a game where you couldn't see the boss's health. And look at this shit. Potion use is not allowed. Could you see Ganondorf's? Well, hold up. It's not allowed. That means that you just can't do it, right? Can't use potions. It's just disabled the option. Yep. Okay. So now you're. Hey, look at it. My oh, potions are fucking grayed yeah. out. Hell yeah. So, so now I'm here with my homies and shit. Now you have your hombres, and this is the same level boss, right? This is the same boss I was just in. Okay. What the fuck? I mean, the game looks pretty toad, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a cool game. Like, I might I might give it a shot. I'm kind of thinking about it. You know what? I, I, I ran into some wall, and I couldn't get through the damn wall. Maybe I'll send you a, a screenshot of it, and maybe you can help me out. <laughs> a lot of people... A lot of people say that the game doesn't actually start until you get to this part in the game. Like, I literally ran into a wall. Uh, <laughs> it was you like got a fucking wall, me, man. man. You know what I'll get you about? through it. I'll get you through there it. There was this... It was like a transparent wall, but I couldn't pass the fucking thing. Like, like look, this know. guy's fucking AFK. These two guys are fucking AFK in the fucking in the fucking raid. Oh, really? Yeah, the, I'm a fucking. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah! Dude, this game looks awesome. I'm a fucking flame him, dude. I have a mage, and she's like level one or something. Okay, so so player number one is AFK. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'm fucking flaming his ass. So we can see him on the map. Look what I just told him. I just fucking told him, get the fuck <laughs> over here. Well, yeah, but he's not going to hear you, right? He's AFK. Yes. Can you not vote? You, you can't vote to boot him? Not that it would matter at this point. Yeah, because then it would just be just the three of us. Right, it wouldn't even I don't matter, think, would it? I don't think we can... Boat to boot him. Oh, either. yeah, you probably can't, and it's probably because uh, the boss's health and damage is static anyway, so they just. The, the creators knew that you just didn't have to boot him because there wasn't going to be any reason to, right at this point. It'd be nice to be able to boot him, though, because if we kill the boss, he's just going to get free fucking loot for just standing AFK. Oh, really? He gets. He, without even grabbing this shit, he gets it. Oh, here he fucking comes. Here oh, okay. he comes. He fucking woke up. <laughs> so the end game on this, you can do those rifts, and then you can do these world bosses with a team, right? Is there anything else that you've noticed with end game stuff? You can do abyssal dungeons and shit, which are dungeons that are harder than this. I haven't even done one of those yet. Can you do those solo? Do people do those solo? They're like... You, this is like pretty hard to do solo an abyss dungeon is like impossible so it's kind solo. of the same concept where you need to group up where maybe the enemies are doing the same damage they have the same health if you were solo or with a group but you pretty much just need a group because uh because they're quite difficult i would assume that's the case because i kind of like that look, look, look at this guy he's got a big fucking sword oh wow look at that sword it's like doing that whirlwind guy. and shit And as you progress on killing the boss, does it start doing other things? I don't think so. It's all red and shit right now. It's red as a lobster right now. It looks like you're fighting oh, a big ass lobster. You were doing like a he's, whirlwind. He's scary as fuck. Because he just stunned me with his fucking tail. Oh shit, who the fuck's doing that? Oh, so when shit. it dies, you just get a bunch of uh, materials and stuff, like craftable things. Yeah, so look, he's diving down in the oh, fucking thing and he, he's no. gonna pop up fucking anywhere. Oh, like, you better, nice. my team better get the fuck away from me and shit. And there's still enemies running around that will distract you, is that right? Yeah, but they're like minuscule. They like, just don't I, do could much one I could one shot them with like pretty much any one of my oh, abilities. Okay. Are you guys on a timer? 
Yeah, there's 15 minutes left, and if we don't kill him, we just Oh, I see it. the timer. Yeah, the top left. 15 my little fucking I bunny. Am. I know. Did did you name it's that, or pet. is that just what it's called? It's just called that. It's That's called just my bunny. Pet. Yeah. And you said it picks up, like, all the loot that falls. Yeah, like, when you when you kill the boss, you get all the fucking loot. <laughs> I mean, when you're just playing the regular game, does the bunny pick up the items that fall? Yep. You can't tell it what picks. to not pick up. It just picks up everything? It just picks it all up. Oh. I, maybe you can tell it what to pick up, but... But it's not a problem? Your inventory doesn't just get full all the time? Uh, oh, shit. Here it is. You can fucking tell him to pick oh, up different stuff. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Because it can be kind of tedious just clicking on a bunch of shit, especially if you're just clicking on craftables. So you can I actually... kind of like it when it picks up everything, because I salvage yeah. that shit, like in Diablo 3, and you yeah. get like uh, you get like currency and shit. Yeah, as long as it's not a problem, you might as well have it pick up all the shit. If you're saying it doesn't like overburden you often. No, like your inventory is huge. And everything just takes up one slot. Yeah. That was the entirety of your inventory, though, that thing that you just showed? Yeah, this is my whole doesn't inventory. have, like, pages and shit, right? Do you have a stash in town? Yeah. The stash is fucking bigger than your inventory, and there's four pages. Oh, nice. And that's it. So, see, like, I'm getting my... Sh like, we're getting our shit kicked in. Is there dueling and shit in this game? Yeah, there is. Uh, have you tried it? Now I got my ass whooped. Like, I, see, I'm out of fucking potions, so I gotta fucking <laughs> run my ass back, so I don't use any of the fucking group revives. Hell we're gonna no. Get fucked. You have group revives. So like, only people can only revive three times. It's not three for me and three for everybody else. It's three total. Oh, so like, okay. if three people, if three people die, <laughs> and then I die. I, I can't respawn and help anymore. Oh, okay. And what kind of character did you say you are? I'm a... I'm a war dancer. So she oh, like... I'm fucking pulling the boss with me. Oh, hell no. Oh, fuck. Wait, where'd it go? I ran away. Looks like maybe it's got are... like so, Maybe it's got a leash or some shit. Your homies are maybe. going after it. Yeah, can it... Maybe it can't get too close to these potion guys. Yeah, I think there's a leash. It where probably can't it, like, get too stop, close like, because right otherwise there. you could just lure it to them and uh, keep collecting potions for have them. Have permanent fucking potions. They they have infinite potions. Those guys. The uh, like us in our group. No, those guys that you went to go get the potions from, right there. Uh, so that's it. Just pulls out of the potions in your inventory. So oh, I've been okay. collecting these since like the beginning of the game. They oh, heal you just have percentage to go there to use them. You just have to go there to... You only get a max of five. You have to go back there to fucking restock on all your potions. Okay, well, that's kind of clever. Because then you can't just spam a bunch of potions and just have your inventory packed with them. So it, it, it keeps you from doing that. Like, look, where, like where, the fuck is the, where the fuck is my fucking team? What the fuck are they doing? But this chick, she dances and shit, right? My character? Yeah. He's straight up martial arts and shit. Okay, so she's kind of like a... Oh, he's fucking up here. He's fu Oh my god, these fucking kids. What the fuck are they fucking doing up here? What the fuck? So you were saying this character is kind of like uh, what the martial arts assassin should have been? These, she's cool, dog. Like, I'm using, like, my set of skills that I'm using right now, it's best for, like, raids and shit. But like there's there's like different gear setups that you can use for oh, nice. for like different things. I guess people have like researched it and shit. Okay. But can apparently you... this is like my best setup for for bosses and raids and I shit. I like that tornado thing. That's what it does a shit ton of damage. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Like, I wanna That's fucking, fucking kill him. It's weird how you don't even know if the boss is gonna die. Like, I wanna fucking kill him already. 
Yeah, it's so weird. I, I, I got fucking knocked down and shit. That actually looks like something from Pacific Rim. That movie that came out. Like some he, years he just ago. did that bullshit again. Yeah, that's awesome. How he uh, how he interacts with the environment. Like oh that. shit! I'd be curious to see how the other world bosses interact because they must have different settings. Yeah, different ones. They do like all different fucking things, and they put you in new maps, at different like areas and shit. Hell yeah! All right, dog. I'm, I think I'm gonna pause the video. I don't know. I don't know. If Dude, look at he's just it. fucking. Look at what he's doing. Oh hell yeah! Oh, he slams you around. He's fucking dragging my ass. Oh my god! <laughs> look at that shit. What the fuck? Hell yeah! Dude, that is bullshit. Dude, did he throw you up in the air and like blow ice breath at you or something? Yeah, he just fucking one shot me, dude. Oh, oh, oh shit! He just fucking did it again. <laughs> So he killed you. What? Yeah, he. So I used one of the revives for the group because he whooped okay. my ass. This is uh, yeah. It looks like Good. this could be kind of challenging, I guess. I mean, all I mean, your skills are on, offensive. For the most part, yeah. It depends on who you who you roll in the party. Because like, if we roll the healer, this game would be fucking easy. Oh really? Do you see healers often? Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, which is good. Oh shit! We whipped his fucking ass. Hell oh, yeah! Even a CGI video or a uh, or a cutscene anyway. Oh, and a celebration. <laughs> my hot ass <laughs> bitch. Kind of Hell fun. yeah! Oh man. All right, and then I got a couple of those things. Okay, successful raid. Who did the most damage? Oh, it shows you stats. Oh sh yeah. Hmm. MVP Holy is, is shit. this guy. This guy fucking carried. He dealt 53% of the damage. Yeah, this guy is... Wow. Yeah, I, didn't do sh I didn't do shit. My character fucking... And then I harvested the soul here, right? So okay. check, this sh check this shit out, dog. I collect that shit, and it's just gonna drop me hella shit. Oh, hey, yeah. That's all just for you. Yeah, and then it... Oh shit, this is what you do a fucking twi- Oh shit, oh, let me do it fucking ah. twice! Oh shit. <laughs> okay, and then you go back to town, right? So there's a bunch of shit, and uh, there's a tooltip that kind of tells you if you might want to use it as an upgrade, is that right? Yeah, it, it just gave me a lot of the a lot of the shards and shit to upgrade my stuff. Oh yeah, the blue- you said the blue arrows show you if it, it's a potential upgrade? Yeah, so this would be a potential upgrade, but it doesn't have the engraving that I need. The cursed doll doesn't have that shit. How do you get that engraving? Do you put that in it yourself? It's, it's just luck. You just have to. It just when the item drops, it rolls oh, with it a rolls random. With you it. Just okay. have to and find you really the right like one. that. You're really set on that cursed doll or whatever. That's like the best one. Okay. So I got all this <laughs> fucking useless bullshit. I got this, which is actually not bad because it has one of the one of my skills i want on it and then i got a fucking chest from his ass too what's that all about this gave me hellish oh hey oh. yeah that's kind of like one of those again it's like one of those caches in diablo 3. does random shit fall out of the chest just shit i got a bunch of fucking earrings and shit huh Useless. I mean, there's a, it's a lot of useless. weird ass things. Oh shit, look at that. Cursed doll plus two. Oh nice. That's quite good. It's not an upgrade, however. It is. Oh it is. It's what quite good. For? And look at this. Doesn't give me shit. So then I can fucking salvage all this shit. Then it gives you the same fucking thing. And then Oh yeah. Bunch of materials. Are these good? This one's fucking dog. Can you show, like, your okay. weapon and armor and shit real quick? Yeah. Kind of curious to see what that looks like. Where do you find most of your uh, weapons and armors and stuff? Do you just find them doing that sort of thing? When you do the first Chaos Dungeon, 
it gives you a full set of gear that's level 302. Oh. Before you, you even helm, beat it, or once you beat it? Uh, once you beat it. Okay. It gives you level 302 on all of these. Oh, okay. Hm. And then when you upgrade that shit over here, that's when it upgrades your item level and all that bullshit. So, like, I hone this shit. And it upgraded it. So oh. I just got another 20 item level on my, on my weapon. Oh, nice. And then it just added like 200 damage. So now my shit's level level 8. Oh yeah, because I just level 7, right? So now I just go through and I upgrade this, and I fucking hone it. And it gave me level fucking 9 on it. Mm. So it goes up 20 item level, it gets defense and magic defense and strength and vitality and whatever the fuck. Nice.